Okay, we are back. Uh, we're going to do our last question of the test one uh, review for the physics boot camp, and then we're going to go to some word problems. The last question says, it's question number 15, if an airplane is intending to go from LA to New York, which is 40 degrees north of east, um, so part of this problem is that it requires you to know the north of east west of east or those kinds of notation south of east uh, so this one means north of east uh, so we're assuming here that new york is 40 degrees north of east from la and then there is a continual wind so as the plane is flying there's a continual wind pushing the plane in a direction 50 degrees south of west 50 degrees south of west what direction should the plane head in order to end up in New York, right? So choice A says the plane should head less than 40 degrees uh, north of east. Choice B says the plane should head more than 40 degrees north of east. C says the plane should head exactly 40 degrees north of east. And D says it all depends on the plane's and wind's velocity. Notice the, the problem doesn't tell you the wind's velocity or the plane's velocity. So. It, is it possible that the answer depends on their velocity? Or is there uh, actually an answer? Okay, so to visualize this, we're gonna be, let me erase this top portion. <clears throat> so we're gonna be drawing vectors here. So imagine that uh, this is uh, Los Angeles here. I'm gonna draw Los Angeles at the origin. And uh, I wanna head to New York this is my vector A. <clears throat> so I want to end up from um, I want to end up from LA to New York, right? So what I'm going to do is say this. That's what I want my path to be, right? My final answer. As a matter of fact, I can call this C. It's better to call it C. So I uh, the the plane should head in a direction A such that. If I add that to the wind's velocity, B, I end up at C. So basically we're doing vector addition, right? A plus B equals C. So now which direction, what does this, the C stands for where the plane wants to end up, right? It's a final effective vector. It's final effective displacement. B will stand for the wind's velocity, okay? A will stand for what direction uh, should the plane head, right? The airplane head, uh, head. So what is B? The B is the wind's velocity. The wind's velocity is 50 degrees south of west, right? So this is north, this is east, right? So uh, 40 degrees north of east, this is the, you see here, east, 40 degrees north of east, that's the, New York's position with respect to LA. 50 degrees south of west, what direction is that? Well, this is west. 50 degrees south of west, well, that must mean 50 degrees this way. So it's going to look like this, right? The wind's velocity is this way. So this is uh, B. B is the wind's velocity. Okay, so why is this one a little more than that? Well, this is 40 and this is 50, right? 50 is greater than 40, so this one looks a little steeper. So now, what direction is A going to be? Okay, well, vectorially, we would say, um, A is equal to C minus B, right? In other words, if I want to know which direction the airplane should he <coughs> head, I should subtract C minus B. How do I do that? Well, in order to subtract two vectors, it is better to visualize adding the negative of a vector. C plus negative B. Right? So now we can do it this way. You take the inverse of the vector B, and you add that to vector C. So what would the inverse of vector B be? B is the wind's velocity. The inverse of that would be you would flip it 
it would give you like that. Okay, I could do it in another color. This would be negative b. And now how do you add these vectors? Vector c, and then on top of that add vector b. So what you do is you put negative b to the tip of uh, c, c plus negative b, you get that. What's the sum of these two vectors? The sum of those two vectors is this way. Okay, this is a. So that means this, visualize this now, okay? In order for the airplane to end up in New York, the airplane should head a little bit north of 40, a little more than north of 40, right? In this problem, we don't have to find out how many degrees more than 40, just as long as it's more than 40, right? So the airplane should head a little more than 40 and should head that way and actually should go pretty quick, right? Because the wind is actually going to push them down. You see the wind? The wind is pushing them down. So think about it this way. If the airplane, if uh, LA is here and New York is here, if the airplane assumes that it's actually going to Toronto or Quebec, okay, and aims for Quebec, then the wind pushes the airplane down, and the net effect of that is that the airplane ends up in New York, right? So the effect of him, the airplane heading to Toronto and, uh, or Quebec or whatever, uh, in Canada, and the effect of um, the wind pushing the airplane down, right? Uh, so then um, the, their net position is gonna be that they're gonna end up in New York, right? So to get that official answer, you need to do uh, vector uh, addition and vector uh, subtraction, right? So in this problem, if somebody wanted to do it without actually doing this, they could kind of visualize it like this. They could say, uh, you have to add, uh, head a little bit more north so that the wind pushes you down. If the wind was facing north, then you have to end this way so that the wind pushes you north. So you have to go less than 40. So in this problem, then what is the choices that we have? A said less than 40, B said more than 40, right? So the answer is actually going to be B. <clears throat> okay, so the answer to number 15 is B. Thank you very much.